Hi everybody, Don Campbell here, and I wanted to talk to you today about something that I think is pretty cool. It's the way that you're supposed to modify themes in WordPress going forward, and it's called child themes. And the idea is that you can take any theme and you can create sort of like a, a duplicate of it and make your changes in this new directory without touching the original theme. And so in that way you can play around with stuff without fear of uh, breaking your theme. And if you do make a change that screws something up, you can easily back out of it. So how does that work? Here I'm using this small biz theme. We're looking at a website and maybe I want to go in and I decide I want to change this font. I kind of like the Georgia or the Arial font better. So I'm going to go in and inspect it uh, using Chrome or you know Firebug or something like that. I'm going to go in there and here I can start to look at my different styles in the theme, right? And so let me kind of move this down a little bit and show you what I'm talking about here. So for example, if I'm moving around in here and highlighting areas, I can see, you know, for example, that the content section, maybe I want to change the text or the background color of this section. Well, that would be pretty easy to do. I can edit the style sheet for this theme. But we're not going to do it that way. We're going to create a child theme. And creating a child theme is very easy. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my FTP client and here I am looking at my WP content directory for my WordPress install. And I'm going to go into the themes section and here I've got the 2010 theme which is the default WordPress theme and also have small biz. I want to create a child theme of small biz. So I'm going to create a new folder and it's going to be called small biz oops, child. And then I'll go into that folder and create a a child theme, there's only one file that you need. Here I'm going to pull over style.css, okay? That's the one, and there's a couple of things you need to put in there. I'm also going to pull over the screenshot so that we have a nice looking screenshot to represent the theme in the, you know, in the uh, theme activation part of the WordPress admin panel. But let's take a look at style.css. What does it look like? So I'm going to go in here and just refresh my view so that I can show you that and I'm going to go into the small biz child folder and look at style.css. Now, the only thing you need in style.css is this little comment block. Uh, you give your theme a name. This is the name that will show up when someone activates the theme in WordPress. And then you give it a template. Now, this template is simply the folder name of the theme that you're creating a child theme for. So this is the parent theme. And if I look back at my FTP, you'll see that under themes, small biz is the folder name of the original small biz theme. So we're in small biz child. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go in and add in a new font for that homepage for the content on the homepage. And I, I did a different background color for the content as well. I'm going to save it. And now let's go back and take a look at our website. When you look at the site now and I refresh it, you'll see a couple of things. One is, uh, well, first of all, I haven't activated the theme yet, so I need to go do that. Let me go into the admin panel, and here now you see the new small biz child theme here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is activate that theme. So it looks like a fully functioning, a whole other theme all in its own. Now, once that's active, let me go back to themes and double check that. Here you can see my new theme that's active, and when I go and I refresh, you can see these changes in here. I've got a different font here. I've got a Georgia font instead of Arial, and I've got a gray background instead of white in this section. And so that's kind of neat, right? I just uh, I just modified this child theme, so creating my own version of the small biz theme in my own folder. If I wanted to change anything or back it out, or if I created any problems, it's easy to fix. So not only can you do style sheets in that way, but you can also do PHP. So I'm going to go take a look at the small biz theme. And in here you see a number of other files. In addition to the style, you see a bunch of PHP files that make up the theme. Well, I can override any of these files. So what I did is I went and I took a copy of footer.php, okay? And I'm going to move that in to my child theme directory. And I'm going to make some changes, all right? So what I want to do is I want to change the text that shows up down here, uh, which means I'm going to edit a PHP file because it's in the footer.php. But I don't want to, you know, I'm afraid I might mess it up or something. So let me go back over here. I'm going to reload this so you can kind of see I've got a new file in there now. There's my footer. So now what I've done in this footer is I changed the text to something else, you know, and, um, and the whole link now is going to look a little different. When I save that and I go back to my theme, 
uh, and I reload it, you'll see that the text down here changes and now it says, hey, look at my new child theme. And now what's even cooler is, let's say I went in here and I just really made a mistake and I just jacked up this PHP code and I didn't know how to, how to fix it or get back to it. I reload my theme and sure enough, I've broken something and getting errors, right? Well, what's cool about child themes is now I can go in there and say, oh gosh, I really screwed that up. I'm gonna delete that footer. And once again, I'm in my child theme directory. I'm not in the original, I'm not touching any of the files in the original theme, okay? So now when I go back to my site and I reload it, everything's fine again. So that's the point of child themes. It allows you great flexibility in customizing things without touching the original theme files. So give that a try and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear you know, what your experiences are with this too, all right? Thanks.